This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Good morning, Arizona. I'm Javier Soto here. The latest stories we're following from the Arizona's Family Newsroom. It is sentencing day for the NAU student who shot fellow classmates, killing one of them nearly five years ago. Stephen Jones pleaded guilty to manslaughter for pulling the trigger back in 2015. Colin Brew died and three others were injured. Jones has always claimed he fired in self-defense. His first trial, you might recall, ended without a verdict. After this plea deal, though, he's now facing up to 10 years in prison. We'll have a crew in Flagstaff this morning to cover his sentencing. A Glendale mom is pleading for answers after her teenage son was attacked while playing basketball in Glendale at the Heroes Regional Park. 17-year-old Nathaniel Webb it just uh, had his jaw wired shut because he was punched so hard in the face. His mom says her son doesn't know his attacker and now police are searching for a motive. Nathaniel and his friend described the attacker as being a short white male with tattoos on his chest. If you have any information, you're urged to call Glendale police. Well, it hasn't even been open for two months, and there are already issues with the new South Mountain Freeway. ADOT says it can be fixed, though, and insists it will not cost taxpayers anything. A six-mile stretch on both sides of the freeway are affected from Dobbins to Levine, uh, in Levine to the I-10 in the West Valley. Most of the issues are on overpasses where the asphalt apparently meets the concrete and seems to have crumbled. It's totally ridiculous. It's a brand new road. So to have that kind of destruction on already, it's like, what is it going to look like down the road? We apologize for that. We, we want to provide a freeway that will serve them well for decades into the future. ADOT engineers are trying to figure out why that new freeway is deteriorating so fast. They aren't sure, but they say they'll fix it. I'm Kylie Cruz with your Tuesday forecast. Rain and snow moving throughout the state and cooler temperatures. We've seen our fair share of rain in the valley in the early morning hours and rain chances continuing uh, throughout the day today. Chances though will diminish uh, significantly. We'll see a high of 60 degrees in the valley today. 63 degrees uh, tomorrow, 68 degrees for your Thursday and then bumping up into the 70s for Friday. A slim chance of showers for your Saturday and Sunday, a high of 71. Well, for updates and more stories, all you have to do is download the Arizona's Family News app and make sure you subscribe on our YouTube and Roku channels. I'm Javier Soto. Good morning, Arizona.